So for today's tutorial I'm going to be using a jar that I've been using to hold cables for ages and it's just an old jam jar. If you don't have candle jars this is obviously something you can use in exactly the same way. And I'm going to be using polyfiller just like my last tutorial. If you don't have a spatula like what I'm using, what you can use instead is a knife or you can use a spoon. A spoon is going to work a little bit better because you're less likely to leave edges from when you're using the knife and the edges are going to be a lot smoother and it's also easier to scoop things out of the jar and use the back of the spoon if you're going to use it to scoop things out of the jar and then use the back of the spoon to smooth things on and you should get a really nice clean edge. Now once I've smoothed everything over the edge of the jar, what I'm going to be using is the edge of my hands just to make the edges a little bit more rounded. And then once the jar is dried, I'm going to be moving on towards colours. What you're going to want to do is do washes of colour at first. So get a large brush and you're going to be using something like a beige, a brown or anything which is a kind of muted terracotta colour. And you're going to do washes of this all over the jar. And once you've done that, you're going to gradually build up the shape of whatever animal you want to do. Now, if you can, try and pull up some pictures of old cave paintings and work from that. So you're going to start out with very light greys to get the basic shape of the animal and then build it up, add a darker grey, add a few more terracotta colours. And once you've got the basic outline of the animal, then you want to outline it with something slightly stronger like black or dark brown. For around the ball what I'm going to do is add some hand prints and what you want to do is you want to add little splotches of colour so use dark brown, use a light brown, use terracotta colours, reds, anything which is in the red yellow family and you're going to put splotches of this on the jar and then you're going to blend it out really roughly and then over that what we're going to do is first use a white acrylic paint and you're going to draw the shape of the hands. Now to break down hands into a very easy format what you want to do at first is just lines. So do four lines at the top for the fingers and then do a tiny one on the side and then add a square shape for the palm of the hand and it's a really easy trick to get that basic imprint of a hand on any kind of surface. After that I'm going to go and add other colours. I'll be using a dark brown and a light brown and we're going to be drawing some more hands all around the ball. Right behind the boar I'm going to add a few running deer and then at the front I'm going to be doing an old bull painting and this time I'm going to be starting off with more of a reddish shade and just building up the shadows for the moment and after they've been blended out I'm going to be using a darker brown and adding some lines. So adding the legs, the patterns on the fur, the fur along the neck, the horns as well and then after that I'm going to go over with a black and outline everything. And once you've painted everything you want on the jar, you just want to give it a really good coat of clear spray paint just to make sure that those colours don't wash off because obviously being water colour, the minute they come in contact with water, those are going to bleed all over the place so you don't want that. Spray it with some clear varnish just so that you don't have that problem. And that's it. You're done.